Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can easily go about opening up a STIG XML file using the Microsoft using the Microsoft XML Notepad 2007 viewer. The following information is going to pertain to the Unit 5 assignment for SEC 4302. So let's scroll on down and look at the assignment. Now all through this assignment, you're being asked to view and look for information inside of a STIG file. So we're going to look at how we can easily do this just by opening up the STIG XML file that we get from the download of the STIG archive. So what I've done is I've just gone up to Google and I've typed in view Microsoft XML file. And the first link that shows up is this download the XML Notepad 2007 for, from the official Microsoft download site. So if we click on this, we can go out here to Microsoft, and there is a download link. Go ahead and click on the download link, and it pops up the download. Just go ahead and save the file. Remember where you save the file to. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. I've already downloaded it once, so I'm going to go ahead and agree to overwrite it. Now I can go up here to my downloads and I can launch this XML Notepad MSI file. Once the download is complete, I'll just go to my downloads. Now I'm using Firefox. Your download container may differ if you're using Chrome or Safari. Now here we see that I've downloaded the XML Notepad.msi, which is pretty close to being the same thing as an executable. It's just a self-contained executable. I'm going to go ahead and just launch it, and then it's going to install. Now once you have the file installed, you can go up here to your Start menu, and in the search bar, you can just type in XML. And you'll see that you have the XML Notepad installed. You can go ahead and launch that if you like, and you can go ahead and minimize it. Now, when you go over here to the STIG library and you download a STIG, it's going to come to you as an archive. You're going to have to extract the contents. So go ahead and just download whatever STIG it is that you need to get into, and just say save the file, and remember where you saved it. I'll save it to my desktop. Again, there it is in my downloads. Now all I have to do is just double click it. And from my browser toolbar, I will use the extract all option and I will extract the contents and save those contents to my desktop. And here are the extracted files. Now up inside of here is the manual. So I open this one up and then I'll move this over just a little bit. There's the XML file that we need to get into. Now, I can go back down here and I can open up my Notepad XML viewer and I can go to File, go to Open. And now I'm going to browse on over to where I extracted the contents of that STIG that I downloaded. I'm then going to double click on the XML file, give it a couple of minutes, it's going to load it, and then we can view it. Now once the XML file has loaded, just go up here to the second tab where it says XSL output and you can see it pretty much in plain text. You can then scroll through the STIG and get the information that you're looking for. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how I go about viewing the contents of a STIG XML file. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns, Please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor. Thank you.